gotta give you guys credit too. Who's educating the community? Who's caring for you? Who's pushing out a video every day? Come on, who's working for you guys? He's Come right. On. He's right about the daily Show drops, some love. man. He's Come to BMW, from the closet, I'm a double another bag, like fuck it, I'ma count while I'm in it. I had brains flying clouds, screaming money, counting chains, clanging shit, I guess that's how it sound when you win it. I ain't joking, do it sound like I'm kidding, I've been making like 2,000 a minute. So high up through the clouds, I was swimming, I'm probably gonna drown when I'm in it. Hello, what is going on up next? I'm e. Keon here from Up Next Crypto. And today, guys, we have a very special interview on our hands. Today, we're here with Peter, the man, the myth, the legend from CC Found. Thanks for joining us today, man. Why don't you tell us, tell the people a little bit about yourself, and then we'll dig straight into the interview. Thank you, Keon. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. My name is Peter Michalak. And uh, first, I have set up the biggest cryptocurrency publishing house in Poland. So uh, this is a multi-million dollar company, 50,000 investors uh, are learning from us on how to trade, how to invest. We have the biggest names on this market uh, in our house. And um, uh, after a few years of planning what to do, which would take the whole information products business model further, that's how I came up with CC Found, which will be an international like education, big education portal. And you guys heard that, man, 50,000 people learning from CC Found. So this is absolutely huge, huge stuff, man, educating the people. Can you kind of tell us a little bit, go a little bit deeper in detail about CC Found? Tell us what it mm -hmm. involves with the different dimensions of it and kind of kind of brief us there over there. Cool. Let me just straighten this one thing out. Uh, our parent company, the previous company I have set up, this one has 50,000 people, community, and uh, uh, this is mainly for Polish investors, right? So uh, taking the um, experience we have gained doing this business for four years, uh, I decided to set up CC Found as an international education company, uh, which will create a new kind of social media that will be a decentralized autonomous organization. Uh, fixing the problems of how we currently search for information and knowledge online. Like we have this huge information mess currently on Facebooks and other media, YouTube closing down channels, blocking videos, uh, Facebook taking down posts and channels, also uh, censorship problem, also uh, a huge problem with garbage, trash content everywhere. And we have decided to fix this and create a platform that will be focused on uh, knowledge and wisdom sharing, uh, on giving people a reputation for uh, doing good deeds, for sharing good uh, information, and uh, also translating each and every other piece of content that will be posted on this platform into each and every other language. So you will have at last a new kind of platform that will allow for communication between languages, between cultures, between nations at last. So you will be able to pop the bubble, pop the information bubble of just living in one country and being able to communicate with only people in your country, in, in your language, which is a huge problem if you're not an English speaker, mm -hmm. as many people in the world are. So, uh, and in the end, this will be a knowledge marketplace with people being able to ser sell their information, knowledge and various types of information products. And that's huge, right? Because as crypto is becoming more international, a lot of new people are trying to jump on board and sometimes they don't have the education they need and they end up making huge, huge mistakes because it's, it's just so hectic. So I really like what you guys are standing for, man. Really solving a huge, huge problem in the space, which is which is knowledge, knowledge, wisdom, all those things you were saying. Can you tell us how you came up with this idea? Like what was the problem you saw and you were like, okay, hey, I need to step in and this is how I need to fix it and kind of speak about the vision of CC Found and the end game of it? Sure. So for example, uh, imagine you are a new investor in anything, in either cryptocurrencies or it can be a stock market. So 
for example, you want to know where to buy Bitcoin or where to buy Tesla or anything yeah. or Apple stock. So if you are living in the States, maybe you don't have this kind of problem. But if you are living anywhere else, like you are typing where to buy Bitcoin in Poland mm -hmm. and you are finding articles written for people living in the States, which are mm -hmm. not applicable to you. Yeah. So as I said, there's this huge problem Like Google doesn't work, actually. It only works in certain markets and English speaking community, and it uh, it doesn't really solve the problem because uh, half of the page of the search results are ads which are showing for example uh, forex trading companies which have nothing to do with investing right and this is like putting people um, uh, in a bad place where they will probably lose their money and uh, Mm, so it, it's really hard to find something. You, most people, when doing research, for example, trying to find a new kind of investment, uh, they end up with 20 open browser tabs, having to watch m multiple hours of videos on YouTube and searching for the golden nugget, right? Yeah. So uh, we want to change this uh, in, in a way that Stack Exchange helped millions of programmers worldwide exactly. uh, learning programming but it also didn't monetize the knowledge. Yeah. And uh, CC Fund will be for investors first, not only cryptocurrencies, like we will quickly evolve into other kind of investments. But uh, so um, the vision is to organize the knowledge similarly to how Wikipedia organized information. Mm -hmm. Like it's easier to organize information. You just have like encyclopedia and it goes from A to Z, right? Yeah. But if you, if you take knowledge, uh, you are talking about questions and answers mostly and you need to like figure many things out like for example if uh, two people ask a similar question maybe we should merge these questions into yeah. one and answers also or if uh, if you have for example a question that is asked like should I buy Bitcoin today? Maybe this should be a rolling question with daily analysis of made course, every yeah. day by the people, right? So uh, there are many things like this we, we should consider. And this is like a new kind of social media that will take a completely different approach to how knowledge is organized. So we want to create this biggest knowledge database online. And we need to differentiate between information that's on Wikipedia or in Google and knowledge, which is applicable to your situation. Like, for example, should I invest with my money, with my situation, like having two kids, a thousand dollars and a home or not having anything or uh, having a million dollars? Like there are different situations and yeah. knowledge is uh, about uh, about being able to apply the information to your situation and uh, having different perspectives, like having 10 people advise you from different perspectives. Uh, and someone from Japan will tell you something different than a person from Poland, right. than a person from the States. And that's what CC Fund will allow, getting different perspectives. This is highly valuable, Huge. as you will soon see. 100%. And my question I have is about scalability. So as more and more people start using this, it becomes a whole lot of specific situations, right? Every single person's situation is the same. How do you think about dealing with once this becomes into the hundreds of thousands of users and it goes towards that perspective? How would you have this many people telling these specific people exactly what to do and what not to do? Do you think that you might face a problem as far as scalability and what do you see as a foreseeable solution to that yeah so for, for example regarding knowledge management right we will probably have uh, questions and answers that will uh, be only valid for a specific time frame and then we'll go into the archive archive will be open obviously but it will not be promoted but uh, there will be a, a huge uh, load of like evergreen content that will be easily searched. Like for example, if you go into uh, Ethereum category, you will start by seeing questions that are most newbie friendly. Like for example, what is Ethereum? What are smart contracts? Where to buy Ethereum? Where to store Ethereum, right? Yeah. Because these kind of questions will be upvoted most. So we will not use machine learning algorithms uh, that will try to judge what you are interested in, yeah. like Facebook does, like yeah. YouTube does, and you are like seeing this plethora of uh, random information, seemingly random, like yeah, exactly. algorithms Very trying random. to, yeah. yeah. And uh, 
this, this will be very like neatly organized, like understandable to you. Why this is on the first place? Because this is upvoted most, like exactly. very easy, very simple, right? And understandable for, for the normal people. And going uh, further down below the fold, you will see uh, more and more technical questions, um, uh, less popular questions that will be maybe applicable to certain problems only or certain situations. Uh, so um, also being a decentralized organization, you have a set of processes for the community to be able to manage the content. So community will be, will be also rewarded for, for example, correcting the translations, for judging whether or not something should be published or should be taken down. Uh, there, there will be no censoring bots as you have on YouTube or Facebook nowadays with a bot closing down your channel yeah. uh, out of nowhere, right? Of so uh, it will be a completely different philosophy with, pe with people being rewarded with reputation points and found coins uh, for doing their job on the platform. No, that, that's absolutely huge. And something I really like about your project that really stood out for me is the whole organizational perspective of it. So as you said earlier, like people say, go on YouTube, learn it. But it's just like you go down that rabbit hole and it's like 10 minutes later you're watching a video that has nothing to do with what you were looking for in the in the main place so it's like how important is organization for you guys to make sure that people don't go down these rabbit holes when using cc found and it's really answering what they're looking for so in order to answer this let me just tell you that uh, i've been advising entrepreneurs for the last 15 years Firstly, I was kind of a business guru, like telling yeah. people how to manage companies, how to set them up properly, like taking an entrepreneur and changing him into a president of a company. Exactly. And uh, I had mentorship programs and educational prog programs about this. So what's most important for me setting up an organization is if you take an organization like Microsoft, Google or anything, and you take away all the money, all the resources from it, what's left actually is a set of rules, right? Yeah, exactly. So rules of what we do, how we do it, what kind of products we sell, how we do these products, where we sell them, what are the logistics, what are the production processes, right? So all these kind of processes and rules are what governs an organization. So when we say a decentralized organization, most people think, uh, voting, right? Yeah, so, exactly. That's how they see it. <laughs> this is wrong. I so know. you only need voting when there is when shit really hits the fan. Right, okay. You you should set up an organization in such a way that there is no voting needed necessarily. So there are processes set up which are logic and understandable for everybody of how people are judged, how people uh, are rewarded, how much will you earn for exactly. doing a task, uh, what tasks can you do, what projects can you uh, like offer to the community, for example, development or IT things that you can create for CC Fund and how much will you be rewarded for it, how will your work be judged. Everything has to be set up in place and this is our, our job as uh, like being architects of the DAO exactly. uh, to gradually decentralize. You can't create an organization overnight. Yeah. That, that was my idea to create a DAO like that. But I thought th th these are too many processes. We have to start centralized and decentralized gradually. And that's the only way to do this right. That's absolutely huge. And I kind of want to move it uh, to an investment perspective. I know a lot of people on Up Next Crypto, they want to see like potential. It's an amazing project, but can you kind of shift it towards an investment perspective and say as an investor, kind of when they see CC found, what should really spark their eye as far as profitability and looking at it in that angle? Yeah, so, uh, you know, coming from the business side, uh, yeah. well, I invested in Bitcoins in 2011, $10 per, per Bitcoin first. However, I'm a businessman, uh, yeah. mostly. So I understand how business people think. Mm -hmm. So I, I understood that we have to develop the tokenomics yeah. in such a way that if you put $1,000 in CC Fund, uh, you know that there is a business model yeah. and you know that the ROI will be somewhere between 500 times to uh, 1,500 times. And mm -hmm. that's how I developed it uh, as a long-term investment in a real business with a real uh, marketplace uh, business model yeah. that will just generate money as a business. Mm -hmm. So uh, how it works is there will be an information products marketplace 
in this social medium. Uh, so um, for each and every dollar Bitcoin or Ethereum spent in the marketplace, it will be changed um, in, in exchanges into found coin. So we generate internal demand for found coin. So it should grow in value. So 100% of the revenue goes to found coin first. From this found coin, 80% goes to authors, experts, people who have created the products. Of course. Right? And 20% goes to the community. 20% is margin. That's 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 large. That's a very large margin. It's especially relevant to other projects. That that's amazing to see. Well, uh, regarding like uh, speaking about commi sales commissions, well, if you take Apple for example, App Store, like they take 30%. Yeah. So uh, it, it will be movable because uh, an author can resign from a portion of his margin and he will get badges, reputation points. So in real life, it will be probably around 25%. But what's important is uh, we use found coin to pay out commission to the author and to pay out tokens to token holders. So just keeping found coins will earn you money each and every day you keep the found coin. And this is huge because once you invest in found coins, you can just keep them and you will get an ROI after a few years of keeping the coins. That's all. Uh, and uh, obviously you don't have to sell them. You can also keep them to generate even bigger tokens. Yeah. That's your choice, right? So that's the main business model. It has a real uh, information products marketplace uh, in the community and will uh, and all the payables will be paid out with uh, found coins and you are incentivized to keep them not sell them uh, and also 10 percent of the margin will be burned so it again generates uh, yeah. value growth and uh, and i could say that that that's it that's a very strong value proposition very, very. and we are even working further than this we will probably uh, introduce our own decentralized exchange so for example if someone says on the platform well buy pan buy, buy pancake swap or buy yeah. bitcoin or buy ethereum yeah. you will be able to click on the platform and buy it instantly on cc found not going somewhere else exactly. and this will be the next step for us no, and that's huge. And it's you guys are creating value in so many different ways. It's not just one way where there's like we're burning, we're burning supply, we're creating value. It's that and so many other things. So, so we really love to see that. I want to move towards partnerships. So, a lot of projects in the space they they want to use other projects for different utility to make sure their potential is pushed to the fullest. Right? Are you guys partnering with many projects, or are you more trying to do everything in house and, and keep it keep it within its walls per se? Uh, for most part we want to do things in-house. We are already a bit well-funded, like having yeah. $1.35 million from the private sale and having 30 people on board in the company hired. So, so, so as I said, we have money for hiring people and we want to develop as much of the technology in-house in order to build value in the company, to have our own programmers, not so software houses, in order to have our own, like, for example, we are developing a layer two solution. So all the transactions inside the platform will be for free like no transaction costs for example so uh, and, and many different technical uh, things uh, like this um, so um, but we are friends and sharing uh, expertise with for example stewcoin basket coin uh, we are friends with kanga exchange and bitbay exchange and um, like starting cooperation with a few other a uh, few other projects I can't say. Uh, <laughs> You're keeping that on the early. down low. You're keeping that on the down low right now, eh? However, uh, however, mostly yes. Uh, build technology in house. No, that that's amazing, and and I really like that you guys are able to do that because a lot of projects aren't funded like that, and they they rely on other projects. So it's amazing how you guys are doing everything in house. And can you kind of talk to us about timeline? So what you guys have coming in the foreseeable future, maybe next quarter, if you want to talk on talk on that, and then even if you want to go till twenty twenty two, early twenty twenty two, what's happening over there? Sure. Currently, we are focused on the crowdfunding campaign and uh, in the background, we are developing the beta version of the ccfound.com uh, social media website itself. 
so it is rewritten after the MVP we have launched uh, last year. It was an alpha version. It is closed right now. We have yeah. developed. We have. We are completely revamping the design. Uh, it will be more resembling like modern social media, like Facebook, Quora, but working in a different yeah. way. And uh, we are focused on the product like this, also developing the second layer solution, some other blockchain smart contracts. Um, also, uh, so, so, so this will be ready till the end of this year, most probably, the beta version. And for now, uh, focusing on uh, getting investors on board, also institutional investors. We have four person strong team for institutional guys here. Uh, with a ticket of just five million dollars, uh, one million per uh, per per venture capitalist, and um, and uh, I'm currently focused on, on on the crowdfunding part, mostly doing interviews and meeting with the team. So the most important part will probably be the launch of the of the main service at the end of this year. At the beginning of next year, uh, we will start the monetization. Uh, and creation of the um, information product marketplace I told you uh, five minutes ago. Yes, sir. And we're very excited for all of that. And when these updates happen, man, we'll be happy to bring it on the channel. Thank you so much for joining us, Peter. Do you have any final remarks to say about CC Fund to the subscribers, to the people watching at home, if you feel like there's something we didn't cover? Is there anything you want to close out with? Maybe just um, maybe just one thing. Please, guys, visit ccfound.com. You will see links uh, in the description, guys. You will see the current website with white paper, two pager, invitation to join the webinar. I'm leading uh, regular webinars about the project, um, about the business model, how much will people earn with all the pr projections, uh, with how much we currently earn on this market, because this is a straight extrapolation of the business we are currently doing. So this is a real life business doing real money right now and a huge opportunity uh, to earn for investors from people who are already on the market, already monetizing with a big user base. So uh, please visit the website, join the newsletter mailing list. You will be notified about the upcoming webinars, uh, meetings and biggest announcements we have. You heard himself, you heard the man say it, man. Check them out. Link is in the description to their website, to their social media. All links are below. Thank you so much for joining us today, Peter, and telling us about CC Fund. We're happy to have you, and we're excited to have you on the channel down the line as more updates happen, as more great things happen with the marketplace and all the other features. Thanks again, Peter. Thank you, Kian. Thank you, guys. See you Thank on the other side. Yes, sir.